Hey guys, welcome back. It's Fidel here. Hope you guys are doing very okay. Guys, the house is hot. Everywhere is shaking. Confrontation, be fight here and there. It's as though the people that are up for possible eviction don't like it. Especially Donyi. Omo, do you know that this morning, Donyi wanted to go and lock on the diary room to tell Biggie that she wants to take a voluntary exit. <laughs> hey, she is not happy about the people that put put her up for possible eviction according to her this is her people you know they are not meant to do that to her um, especially angel that promised her that she is not going to put her up um, what angel did is even better because the same doing promised angel that she is not going to put her and soma up well at the end of the day don't you put soma up so you know it's payback anyway they are even right now and guys about taking that voluntary exit white money advised doni against that move because white money told doni that leaving voluntarily um is like shooting herself on the leg because she don't know what is out there she don't know if her people are going to come through for her and when she takes a voluntary exit she's going to regret it for the rest of her life white money told her to calm down that is better that they evict you through the normal process than you give up on yourself that it doesn't even speak well of you that brands will now think of you like this person that gives up easily anyway don't you went ahead to share with white money um how venita is frustrating her in the house and is getting too much and if that continues that her doing is going to come for venita and her fucking kids that is the way she said it i'm like oh my God, that's the wrong move because the wrong move that you moved the first one that is what got you into this mess with venita you all remember that um, clip that um, Big Brother played about EK trashing um, Ilebaye's clothes and Venita was there and Venita didn't stop EK. Venita just said she don't want to you know, meddle into that and walked out. Um, the Ilebaye that watched everything did not say anything to Venita. But the moment Doni decided to cry more than the bereaved, try to carry everything like gala on her head, Venita marked her bad. From that moment that even Venita said that um, Doni in insulted or you know mentioned her kids in the altercation from that day that is when i know that almost the house venita is going to make this house unbearable for doing it because venita marked doing it bad from that moment and this fight will still continue unless one of them leaves the house and i'm sure that even when the show ends we are still going to get you know little little pieces of their fight on twitter or instagram and i'm sure it's going to linger till the reunion it's not going to stop anytime soon according to doing don't you say that um her and uh, Venita is going to have a problem in this house, in that house. So uh, Doni is not even backing down from the fight. She is going to do it head on squarely with Venita. Um, Doni say that um, Venita is provoking her, poking her, you know, unprovoked, trying to instigate um, the housemates to avoid her or not to be her friends. Because according to her, if she's talking to somebody, Venita will say, oh, you're talking to, there are some people you are not supposed to talk to. When she's talking to Alice or CC or Kim Oprah, Venita will pass and say, Oh, you are, there are some people you are not supposed to talk to, you know. And when she passes, she will be, you know, she'll be doing as if she wants to throw up, like maybe um Doni is irritating her or making her to throw up, you know, all those nice nasty things. I don't know what you think about what is going on between Venita and Doni, but who do you think is wrong? Um, let me just know your view and opinion about Venita and um Doni's fight and altercation and quarrel here and there down the comment section that is where we'll talk moving forward i'm going to talk about pere cross and them um, kim opera after much back and forth and listening to both kim opera both pere both cross and you know going up and down pull and push about this their relationship triangle dynamics and all that um, uh, hey, the thing is complicated though because I keep asking myself, we all know that in fact, Cross is not a good friend. That one is certain, that one is settled. But in this whole triangle that is happening, according to Pere, Pere said that Cross knew that. Cross knows that he likes Kim Oprah outside the house, that Cross is aware that he has told Cross 
and seeing Kim Oprah in the house and Cross is going for Kim Oprah, um, he feels betrayed. He feels in a, a, a type of way, but he's not going to fight Cross because of Kim Oprah. But as a friend that knows that he has eyes on this lady and still going for her in the house, that really is not really nice, okay? Cross, on the other hand, have countlessly admitted and told some housemates that he knew that Pere likes um, Kim Oprah. And in fact, Kim Oprah also likes Pere, but that does not stop him from shooting his shot, okay? Anyway, I don't know amongst them who is trying to use our brain and play a game but what I just have to say about this their dynamics and triangle of a relationship is that <laughs> okay let's just say it this way Pere that is saying that he likes Kim Oprah since 2021 and you did not make any move on her until you saw her in the house and your friend is now interested in her what have you been doing for the past two years that you did not make a move why haven't you dated her since 2021 that you have eyes on her is it in the house that you want to come and claim that you have eyes on her why not respect the game maybe when you go outside you will approach her since 2021 you have been meeting this girl you have not asked her out nothing 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 now that cross is interested you are trying to insert yourself okay um, cross on the other hand that knows that your friend told you that oh even outside the house before this all star your friend told you that oh i like this baby you know that your friend likes her and you saw the same lady in the house and all that you have to do all that you know best to do as a friend is to approach the lady that your friend Perry told you that he likes can you imagine okay on the other hand, Kim Oprah knows that Perry likes her or that even likes Perry. Why did she? Why is she constantly moving towards Cross? Why is she constantly giving Cross the green light? Why she will give Cross green light? She will give Perry green light. What is her plan? She wants to jam the two friends' head together. And with these few points of mine, guys, I am saying that both Perry, Cross, and Kim Oprah. The three of them should get out. Like, get the fuck out. Like, I don't understand. They are trying to play with our brain. I'll be waiting. They, they, they want to, to just... Because this whole thing is not, is not making sense to me. I, I even blame the girl because if you... In, in between the two friends, choose one person and respect yourself, okay? Now you're giving the other person green light. You're giving... You're just playing your game. And I don't blame her for that, okay? It's part of the game, okay? And even Paradise saying, oh, I like this girl since 20... 21 what since two years ago what stopped you from approaching her since then and cross that is even aware um, i beg anyway guys i don't know what you feel about this so but at least we i agree that crosses can be pure uh, pure brain as nini said cross don't think things through cross is not a good friend but in this whole thing i beg all of them should get out let's just cruise and have fun down the comment section with your opinion and thoughts about this video love you guys